Morning. I'm round at my folks' place today. I'm here to help him dig out his begonia corms. Hold on, let me just get into the light. Yeah, to help him dig up his begonia corms, we'll take them out of the tubs, uh, ready for them to be overwintered. Let me show you them. So that tub there, and that one there. He does have these other tubs along the fence, which I think he's going to either plant into the border over the winter period or, I don't know, do something with them. But primarily, my job is to dig out these corms and get them ready for the overwintering process. Anyhow, let's do that. The process is really simple. It just involves breaking off these begonia stems and then digging out the actual corms. If I had a pair of gloves I'd be wearing them, but I don't. Yeah, most of these had already snapped off, so it looks like they were ready to come out. Now, I don't know how many corms are in here. I think two or three at least. A couple of snails. Right. I just got to dig in. There's the first. There you go, look at the size of that one. That's the second. Feels like there's another one in here. Oh man, it's gonna take some digging out. There's the third. I think that might be it for this tub. I'll have a route round and check to see if there's any more, but I reckon that's going to be the last one. Look how big he is. You can actually split these once they get to this size and um, create two corms to uh, create two more plants. Anyhow, let's see if there's any more in here. Well, it looks like we had two more in the tub. So that's a total of five in this tub. Yeah, having a root round, there are no more in here. That's it. Let's check this second tub. Same process. Pull off the stems. And then get digging. A small one. An even smaller one. A third. And finally, the monster of all begonia corms. Besides that one. Okay, the final process in this overwintering malarkey is grab yourself a piece of fleece, place the corms into the middle of it, there's the big one, two little ones. It might not be worth saving that big one actually, it's just got too big. Like I said, you can split them, uh, but that's up to my dad. And yeah, once they're all in there, wrap the fleece around them. There should be enough water in these corms to keep them going until March. And now I'll just place this in the greenhouse where they'll store over winter. Uh, 
And that's it for overwintering the begonia corms. They're just on the shelf for now. He may well place them somewhere else in the greenhouse. Let's have a look what he's got going on, not much. Looks like a dahlia tuber that he's dug up. So yeah, like I said, that's it for overwintering your begonia corms. There's not much else to it. Short and sweet again. Anyhow, thank you for joining me. If you have, remember to hit like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, please do comment down below. And until the next video, bye for now.